Okay guys, I have a very exciting announcement. Guess who is pregnant? What up everybody? How you guys doing today? Today is a travel day for Julie and I and little Hazel. This is gonna be this little baby's first time on a plane. Yeah, you're really good on car rides. Let's see how you are on a plane. Oh my God, you're teething so much. You ready to go to Florida? The last time I tried going to Florida, you guys know, my dad and I waited in the airport for a couple hours. They kept delaying it and delaying the flight. And then they just ended up canceling it. So I'm hoping that does not happen today, especially with traveling with a puppy for the first time. I really just hope it's a smooth sail. I'm just nervous because this little baby goes potty like every 30 minutes. But she has been sleeping a lot more throughout the night. She doesn't wake us up as often. Last night, she didn't wake us up one time throughout the entire night, which I'm very surprised about. I'm sure you'll be good. Oh, look how cute that face is. You're so pretty. Yeah. I'm sure she'll be able to hold it. She's very good in her carrier. So I'm sure everything would be just fine. For anybody wanting an update with the mullet, this is where we are currently at. It's a little funky right now because today is actually a hair wash day for me. I haven't gotten to do that just yet. Of course, I'm not gonna do that before traveling. I'll do it later on in the day. But uh, yeah, it's, it's getting long. This suitcase right here is mostly gonna be Hazel's food. We're gonna fill up this bag with her food. And it's not dry food, it's wet food. This is frozen. So we literally have like 30 pounds worth of food to bring with us. You can see a bunch of her food right there. Then we got some other little things in there for her. Oh, <laughs> you almost kissed the camera. Look at your big floppy ears. She loves to eat her ears, look at that. Why do you like to chew your ear? <laughs> Hazel. <laughs> What's really cool is Julia's suitcase and Hazel's carrying bag is from the same company. So they made it really convenient. We can literally just go through the airport like this. It straps on to here and we're on our way. You wanna play with your ball? She rips up the potty pad. Why is it there? Go get it. <laughs> she loves this thing. Run and jump. Yeah. Go get it. She's got another ball in her mouth already. Look, she's trying to get both of them. You playing soccer? All right, got all of her food in there. So the weight limit at the airport is 50 pounds. I have this little portable weight scale. We're gonna see how much this weighs. 37.2 pounds, not bad. You bringing Geo too? Oh crap, they're gonna have an all out war in the car. <laughs> you and Hazel can get some play time. Oh, she's going crazy. Oh, she already <laughs> wants to see him. Look, she's all happy. Look who it is. <laughs> they actually play with each other now. They like each other. <laughs> All right, time to go. Uber guy's ready. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'll give you five stars. Yeah. Gia, you're gonna play with Hazel? <laughs> go, go back, go back there. <laughs> yeah, you're good in the car, aren't you? We brought her out to go potty like five times. She barely wants to go. Yeah. All right, here we are. You ready, baby? <laughs> Bye, Gio. He don't even care. He wants to look out the window. There she is. Oh, you got hair yeah. all over you from her. Great. Not too many people here, which is good. Check in without bags. Nope. Not in service. Not in service. What? Oh, the bag's actually 40 pounds. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. <laughs> She's nervous. Every time she gets nervous, she sheds a lot. So I've never done this before, but the way the pet thing works now is they have to be able to fit in a carrier, you know, about this size, and under 20 pounds, and they charge you a fee. She acts as like one of our carry-ons, and it was a... I think it was like $125 for the fee. Definitely different than, than a couple years ago. TSA, success. A lot of stress off my shoulders now. We're trying to find a little pet area so she can go potty. I think I see it right up here. There we go. Oh, somebody left their dog's poo. It would smell so bad. It's like going through my mask. That's how bad it smells. Hopefully she goes and doesn't eat poo. Well, we have our potty pad, so let's clean up the other people's poo that they left there. Or we have our poo bags. Ew. Ugh. Ew, I'm stepping on piss probably. All right, well I got their poop. You wanna go potty? Go potty. She's gonna smell like 12 pounds of piss. I know, it's Yeah, there's crap stains right there, right there. Go on, he's a go pee pee. She smells like 40 different dogs piss. All right, well, she's not going. Ew, she's dripping snot. Ew, 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 is it? Is it snot or is it from her feet? Snot. Well, that was a fail. We tried. We brought her out for a bit, so she's not crammed in there the whole time. Get some kisses in. We took her out, and the first thing she did was give us so many kisses. What is she, she's licking your armpit? She, she loves, loves doing that. Armpits. I don't know why. I'll get home from the gym. First thing she does is start licking my armpit. I'm like, why? Why? He's a <laughs> she's got one ham right now. Ew. Here we go. First time on a plane. She made it on. It's focusing on your ring and not her. <laughs> it's because it's popping. <laughs> Dang. Ew, Hazel, don't Hazel, lick that. That's nasty. Don't lick that. 
tea then. And we made it to Tampa. Now we are on our way to the other side of the airport where Cody will pick us up. We haven't gotten our bags yet, but this little one needs to go potty bad. He's whimpering, so. We walked all the way across the airport to get to this little section outside for it. It's fenced in. Nice. Yeah, true. Oh, perfect. Then she can run around a bit. Nice little section for you, baby. Go potty. Go potty. Go potty. Hazel, come on. Come on. Go potty, baby. Go potty. I'm trying to find her spot. She's going. Well, that's a long one. Hey, she's been holding that for hours. Currently waiting for Cody to pick oh, us up. Minute. Super grateful that he's always here for us. And I just told Julia, I was like, let me know if you see a white Tesla. And she's like, oh wait, he got his car wrapped. So now it's pink. <laughs> We're looking for a pink Tesla. If you guys haven't seen it yet, you're about to see it for the first time. Hazel's whining a bit. You'll be on in a minute, baby. She's gonna hate this thing after this. I know. She's gonna really hate it now. Once we, get, once we get into the car, you'll be okay. There it is. Oh, I see it. Looks like sand. Yeah, it's almost like a, I forget the color's name. I don't even know how to describe it, almost like a bubble gum look. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Hey, and there it is. Yo, it looks sick, bro. Woo! What's up, Tuts? Vlogger boys. Let's go. Hey, bro, good to see you. Boys Thank you. Wow, that was stressful, not gonna lie. So we're sitting in traffic for 45 minutes on the way here. Yeah, and then you got these people blowing whistles at you if you don't pick somebody up in two minutes, not even. Yeah, I'll blow their whistle. Yeah, I bet you will. Ain't no doubt about that. You are so cute. You're so tiny. The mullet's looking <laughs> fire, bro. Let's go, baby. It's so long. I know, I just got a haircut today. Look at this shit. Well, I didn't do the top yet. But it looks good, bro. You're growing out the top too. It's fire. Yeah. That I'm gonna grow out the top, and once it's like I can make the top and back even, I'm gonna get it all permed. Fucking, yeah, like, all crazy curly. Mohawk. Yeah, yeah it'll look fire. This dude constantly shaved his hair for like years consecutively, and now it's just long as hell. Yeah, ever since you did the nair prank on me, I've had short hair. Yeah. <laughs> this is like my first time having long hair again. Got the pink LED lighting to flow with it. He even has the car on the screen pink as well, which is awesome. That's in a new update. Yeah, once you update yours, you can do it. Yes, which I hope my Tesla's even like still drivable at this point because over the past month that I haven't been here, it's drained over 130 miles worth of battery, which is crazy. It's just sitting there. So the Sentry mode's not even on. The car's completely off. So I don't even know how that happens. Yeah, well, my BMW was sitting for uh, four years. So I got with that. no engine. <laughs> with no, well, it has an engine. It's, it's just, just blown. blown. Yeah. So, so Cody brought that out to Florida, so he's gonna try and fix that up. It's gonna be sick. I lost my key for the BMW. Yeah. So I couldn't roll up the window. <laughs> so the window's been rolled down for four years. Dude, there's like mud inside the car. Oh. There's like dead bugs. I think there was like a rat in there. Is that why there's tape over the window? Yes, because I can't roll the window it's up. It's like tape I, and plastic. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a key. It's tape and trash bags. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, I don't have a key to roll it up. And keys are like 600 bucks for a new one, so. Wow. Gotta get one of those soon. Yeah, for sure. There's a tail in the back of this car. What? Stopped at Cody's because he picked up some packages for us. Because you guys know the last time somebody stole our package from our apartment. So very cautious about it now. So I appreciate you. Yeah, no worries. I just don't know if it's all going to fit in the car because it's those three boxes too. We'll figure it out somehow. But this is literally all puppy stuff. We got a new crate for her and then pee pads, cleaning products, a bunch of other stuff. Why are you going so crazy? You're so cute. You're just so tiny. I feel like I'd break you. Tons of kisses. You're, so, you're going so crazy. Oh. And we are home. Hi, man. Man's getting everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm a one trip guy. There we are. Hopefully there's not a million bugs on the floor dead. <laughs> oh, we gotta move that carpet. We gotta move the rug because if not, she'll pee on it. Damn, Cody brought in everything. Thank you, bro. Yeah, that'll be 200 bucks. All right, I got you. Put it towards the fix the BMW fund. 200 doll hairs. This looks like a dildo. This one looks like anal beads. Small for you. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the whole shirt. Get the lint roller, ready yep. to go. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got some too. Yeah, she was shedding a lot. <laughs> Woo! I said it before and I'll say it again. One of my favorite parts of coming back to Florida is my gaming slash PC setup. This computer is a beast. It looks so beautiful. I absolutely love this. Huge shout out once again to Artesian Builds. You can see their logo right there on my PC. I'm talking about logos, we got my logo on the front, 210, and on the back, it looks awesome. I am super grateful for them building me this beast of a PC. If you guys are interested in getting a PC for yourself, Artesian does amazing work. You can actually get up to $200 off using my promo code Lance210. Their website is super easy to use. All you gotta do is click start your build. You can pick from a small form factor PC to gaming to workstation or even liquid cooling. For right now, we're gonna go with gaming. You can choose between AMD and Intel. 
Personally, I like AMD better, so we're gonna click on that. And then you get to pick your case, your glass etching, your GPU backplates, your CPU, your motherboard, CPU cooler, RAM, graphics card, power supply, the whole nine yards. They even have a selection of monitors for you as well. They make it super simple, especially if you're a noob to this space and you're not really sure where to start. They give you some recommendations and suggestions. My computer is unbelievably fast. Absolutely love it. Once again, huge shout out to artesianbuilds.com. Go to the link down below at the very top of my description to save up to $200 on your order. The food is still solid frozen. That's crazy. She's running around with her leash on right now exploring. I brought her outside, but she didn't go potty. So we just put a potty pad out for her right now. She's trying to get under the couch. Ew, there's probably dead bugs under there. Come here. Oh, she's going under? Yeah. We bought fake grass that we're gonna put out on our balcony for her as well. So she'll be able to go out, right out here to go potty. Sniffing everything, yeah, baby. You want the, the messed up harness off right now? Yeah, I definitely did not put it on right this time. I already know that. It was a, a spur of the moment, quick little thing. She's so happy she's about to eat. Sit, good girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's an hour past her eating time, so she's definitely hungry. We usually feed her like 7.30, 8 a.m., and then next meal's like 12, and then the next meal after that's like around five or six. So she eats three meals a day. She's gonna devour that. Here's her new crate. Well, it's more like a playpen than a crate. So Hazel just went under this table, and she thought it was see-through, so she jumped up and banged her head on it. <laughs> it, was, it was so loud. She always goes back and tries to clean her bowl. Like completely. We had a bunch of boxes to open and we just got a bunch more from our mailbox. I saw this on TikTok the other day and I wanted to buy it. It's organic black bean spaghetti. And the reason I got it is because these macros go hard as fuck. Look at this, for 56 grams, there's three grams of fat, 19 grams of carbs, and 25 grams of protein. That is fire. Is it gonna taste the best? Nah, eh, probably not, but give it a shot. Here is Hazel's pea grass that we're gonna put on the balcony for her. I don't know, does this go under, or do they just give us this with it? It's a washable training pad. It probably goes under it. It'll like absorb, yeah. You think? Yeah, 100%, because it's like the size of it. It actually gives us suggestions to spray inducer, as they call it, to get the puppies to pee on here. And uh, we actually got this spray. Go here, attractant. Let's see if it actually works. Yeah. So you spray it and... Oops. I said just a little bit. Yeah, and it should help her go there. Hazel, that's that's not the plan here. <laughs> She's biting it. You go here, you don't, you don't eat it. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> You don't bite it. What? Well, she's rubbing her whole face on it. Ew! Why is she sitting on it? <laughs> what? She just got so comfy on it. No. It's gonna be a little difficult with this one. <laughs> Excuse me, Hazel. All right. It's so dirty out there. Oh my god, it's full of bikes. Yeah, we got the scooter, skateboard. There we go. Go potty. Go potty, girl. Go potty. <laughs> she's scratching it. Holy crap. You see them? There's one, a lot two. Of them. Three, one down there. Well, it looks like Hazel spotted this giant cockroach. She was about to eat it. She's all dirty because she climbs underneath the stuff. Yeah, she went all under the couch. She went oh. under our bed. <laughs> and there we go. Wow, do we have enough hangers or what? <laughs> this right here is 120 hangers. The reason you just saw there was 120 hangers is I just bought them. Julia and I literally just bought all new clothes for out here. Mine haven't come yet, but Julia is opening a package right now that she got. I'm still waiting. I literally ordered 90 pieces of clothing. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Literally a whole brand new wardrobe. We don't have a lot of clothes out here, so we will now. But yeah, I have to buy a lot of extra hangers. Julia is opening up all her clothes. So I just stepped outside and oh my God. Gosh, that is a big moth, I think. That thing's huge. Is it sleeping? Oh. Oh, he's alive. That is massive. Currently the next morning. Wow, that sun is bright. Of course, we haven't been here in a while, so we need some stuff from the store. We placed an order for pickup, which is kind of what we've been doing recently, especially because we have the puppy. We try not to be out too long, or one of us will just go alone and pick it up. So they'll bring the food right to our car, which is really awesome. And there we go getting the food now that is super simple and easy i don't know why we're just starting to do this now when we could have been doing this for a while saves a lot of time especially when you're in a rush i will say the only thing that i do like about food shopping myself is picking out meats especially when it comes to chicken sometimes some of the chicken i'm sure you guys already know this can be a little fattier than others so i'm very particular in the meats that i pick out but other than that the service is great oh what they're setting up a circus Oh, sweet. I don't think I've ever been to one. Back in the gym, as always, uh, we got Cody here as well, and he's got the new shoes on that I got him for his birthday, as you guys would have seen in the previous vlog. Yeah, they're oh, right there. God, I think I we'll get a close up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at them. They're sparkly, bro. It's like some weird type of material. 
almost like mesh. See the dog hair? Yeah, there's some dog hair sticking out of it, but uh, yeah, they look fire. They they're almost different. look blue from this this angle. They're black, but yeah, certain lighting they look blue. They're, uh, they're see through. Yeah, they're see through on the so inside. You can like, see the orange on the inside. Yeah, orange, yeah, it's cool. So we came over to this local pet store, and they have a ton of stuff here. We gotta get Hazel some toys. She doesn't have much out here. But look at this. They literally got everything. Beds toys there's even like a whole treat section over there for like frozen treats did you see it nice. yeah you gotta check it out it's pretty cool do you think i should just get her this as a water bowl yeah we can do that a little easy travel pull too yeah she needs a ball and like a tug of war toy like this but smaller yeah well we shouldn't play tug of war with her yet no i like, do the, the tiny one yeah yeah we don't pull hard yeah She's still a little pop. I haven't seen her lose any teeth just yet, but she should be soon. And there's like this little rubber pad that we can put her food bowl on. A new harness. This won't be a lot better than the other one that we're using. Probably way more comfy too. Some brushless toothpaste dental chews. Pretty small. They're only like seven calories. Some probiotic dental chews as well we're going to get. Plus, I'm going to start getting into the habit of like brushing her teeth. So we're going to get this and this toothpaste. Oh, peanut butter flavor. Oh, we have a lamb chop back home for it, but this one's pink. Yeah, we're going to get that for her. That's so cute. Yeah, I'm literally overwhelmed. I feel like I'm in a candy store, but for pets. There's no, so much. This stuff all looks like natural. Of course, we're gonna have to look at the ingredients and stuff too, but. PB banana chip recipe. I'm gonna be honest, we don't give Hazel a lot of treats. And if she does get a treat, it's a little Cheerio. That's her treat. And we'll give that to her if she goes potty outside or does a good girl. Oh look, they have a whole cleaning station too. I know Hazel really enjoys crunchy treats, so we're gonna give her this. Da 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 da. Super dog. <laughs> She's a little stinky from traveling, so we're trying to give her her first bath. Probiotic shampoo and conditioner. Try this out. Let's see how it smells. Yeah. It smells pretty good. Oh yeah, it smells pretty good. Unfortunately, sometimes Hazel likes to eat her poop, so we're gonna get this stuff, see if it works. Stop stool ingestion. They're like one treat you give her every day. We got something like this back in Jersey, but I think it gave her like really bad diarrhea. We stopped using it after like two days. We'll see if this works better. Freeze-dried chicken hearts. Ew. That does not sound appetizing. Should we get pink and purple, maybe? You want to get pink of this and purple of this? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. like that big toy? Yeah. Wow, we're getting a lot. Oh, that's funny. We we're just talking about Cheerios. This is like flavored Cheerios. We're not getting these yet, but we're going to need them eventually, so... Once she gets her period, she's gonna have to wear a little diaper. Okay, so we found another shampoo, and this one's actually specifically for puppies. I don't know what much of the difference, but... Smell it. It smells so good. Mm, it actually smells better. Let's yeah. go with this one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> little bear for her. <laughs> little rubber balls for her. That'll work. Look, they get a whole treat section. Frozen treats. Frozen goat milk yogurt with coconut. Dang. Whoa, that's so cool. Pooch ice pops. <laughs> Almost looks like an animal cracker. <laughs> it does. They smell good. Mm -hmm. Wow, they go all out. Look at this. There's a cake Popcorn. Look at these little tacos. Wow, we have to come here on our birthday. Dude, this looks like a donut. Dang, little Hazel spoiled. She really, I didn't expect to get that much. Yeah, it's as much as our food bills. See, now that's just stupid. I hate when people do that. Look, it's literally hitting that guy's car. It's been six hours and he's still here. What are you doing, little guy? He was actually here last night too. He was chilling on the little ledge right here, right by our door. Oh, you taking off? You moving? I guess he just likes the shade. <laughs> Hazel, you wanna see what we got you? Which one should I give her? We got so much. I'm gonna give her this. Look at that! Look. Oh. New toy. <laughs> I like wanna space this out giving her the toys, but I also at the same time wanna give them all to her right now. <laughs> you know, since so she has like multiple options to choose from. She loves having like a bunch of options, so why not? Yeah, Julie's making a little pizza right now. Are right, you bored yet? Next one. <laughs> I'm gonna give her the big one. <gasps> Look at this one, Hazel. She's like, what is that? What is that? Did you take the tag off? Yeah. You got a new hump buddy. She's never had a toy that big. I know. <laughs> it probably will end up being her hump buddy. Ew. Got her little ball. I think it squeaks. Yeah. Oh, she can't pick it up. Oh, she got it. Oh, she likes it. She don't know where to go with it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Go get it. Good girl. Oh my gosh, she's probably so overwhelmed. What's this? Go get it. <laughs> she's got all new toys. <laughs> she's showing it who's boss. She loves it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Aww. She got one more. Really? Yeah. I got you more. 
No, I gave her pretty much everything. Oh. Then she has like her little treats and stuff. All right, last one. <laughs> this is our way of making up for the hectic travel day. Sorry, Hazel. So I just read on the back of this that it says for use on dogs six months or older only. So we're gonna have to wait on that. I'm gonna give her one of these toothpaste chews. Make her breath smell a little bit better. Hazel, you want a treat? Sit. Good girl. She doesn't know what to do with it. There you go. She's not very picky. Kind of eats whatever. She split it in half and is only eating the inside. She's been doing really good. She peed on this pad three times already and she just pooped. Sorry for anybody eating, but uh, she's already learning. <laughs> what? Cody just put this around her neck. It's a headband. It's Julia's headband. But she like wants to keep chewing on it. So yeah. She can't get it off. <laughs> what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, your breast smells so fresh and clean now after the dental chew. Yeah, you need to eat one of those because your breast smells like shit. I know, I, I gotta go brush my teeth. I just had this like chicken parm. Pot meat sandwich? Yeah, pretty much. Yo, you know what's really funny? Your penis size? Yes, but here's our crate set up. It, you might notice that there's a rug in here from our bathroom. Dude, did she already pee on it? I don't think so. I hope not. But she kept coming in here and just laying on and laying on it. So we're like, all right, let's just bring it in there. And she fell asleep on it. Oh. Now she's getting into dirty clothes. Oh, it sucks. You're oh, just she, like Jackson. She loves socks. Just like Jackson. Yeah. Here's Julia's new clothes. She got to put them away. I'm waiting on mine to come in. <laughs> there you go. Get Co get Cody's cardio in. <laughs> I already did cardio. Today. Yeah. <laughs> she still got the headband around. I know. Her she neck. doesn't even care. <laughs> She grabbed the headband and she thought she picked something up. Yeah. Look, she's biting on it. Look. <laughs> we got her a bed. I'm going to open this up. Oh, wow. That's small. Oh, that's cute. Did you think it was bigger than that? I did think it was bigger, but it's it's kind of like perfect size for her. Yeah, I mean, she's not really a big dog. Yeah. Oh, it is kind of oh, small. Oh, it is kind of small. I knew I should have gotten the medium. Shoot. She'll sleep on it, but <laughs> it is very small. Yeah, we'll, we'll throw it in there along with her blankie and stuff. She'll just decide where yeah, she wants to sleep. Rug. Yeah, yeah, the bathroom exactly. rug. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say, did you tell them? You'll have options. Yeah. <laughs> like a little doggy hotel. Yeah, well, I'll... You want to sleep. Motel. Motel. <laughs> it's yeah. not as luxurious. It's not as luxurious as her huge bed at home. Yeah, her huge Ugg bed. Yeah, I'll probably end up getting her a bigger bed. Uh, this will do just for today. She just likes to sit on it. Maybe we just leave this out here for her to sit on every once in a while. We'll yes. get her another one. She's not doing it now. No, Every time I was doing it before, she was turning she was her head. Turning her head yeah. Time. We're gonna bring her over to the park, so we're gonna try our new harness. There we go. This went on super easy. This is the quickest fitting harness we've had, and it's actually on properly this time. Ready? First time at the park. We've never brought her to a park yet. Oh, it's so beautiful out. There's my girls, all three of them. <laughs> this might be hot yeah. on our paws, so we're gonna bring her over to the grass area. Yeah. yeah. It's a little hot. If you put your hand on the ground and you can keep your hand there for more than five seconds, it won't hurt your dog's balls. If you put it on there and it's like you got to take it right yeah. off, it's too hot for it. Yeah. You got to remember, I lived in Vegas. So mm -hmm. like we would always have to check when we would bring uh, Griffey and uh, Chloe out for walks. Yeah. We should probably end up getting those booties. I know how I said it was kind of mm -hmm. stupid. <laughs> yeah. In the in the previous uh, video. Oh, but what? for this situation, it, it does make it does make sense. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, she's going around Julia now. Come on, baby. It's gonna walk. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> she's she's oh, been, oh my god. She's never been on the walk. Okay. Really, all right. So like, <laughs> all right. Hazel. All right. <laughs> she looks so majestic. Yeah. The wind's like blowing her ears. <laughs> she has a very long tail for a King Charles Cavalier, in my opinion. It's eventually gonna get really flowy. Like her hair's gonna get long, and it's just gonna look so awesome. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Keep going, Hazel. Can you walk across that thing? Over there? Uh, I think it's gated off. Imagine you can just walk across the whole lake. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I tried riding my scooter on it before, but it was gated off. Yeah, it's not that hot. It's okay. What's that? It's yellow water. Looks like you're pissed. Uh, <laughs> that's a big okay. stick. But he's, right. it's, look, it's, it's wrapped around her. Oh, Move it on. <laughs> Girl. Mm -hmm. 
Hannah, she peed. That's good. It's so awkward running with her because I keep looking down to make sure I'm not gonna step on her. She likes to cut you off. This weather is so beautiful right now. I miss this a lot. Jersey's been crap lately. Hey, we getting lean out here. Look, I'm getting abs. Look at that. Same. Did you say abs? Yeah. Wow. Yo, so that's how I'm trying to be. I'm kind of jealous. Being fat and walking into the wind is the worst thing ever. <laughs> it's just like, it's not forgiving at all. It's just suctioning everything? Yeah, it's just my titties are hanging out. Yo, look at the size of that fucking there it is. Yes, yeah, you. That's huge. Is that it, Hazel? You're tired out. I think she's done with her walk. <laughs> <laughs> Get my cardio in today. Yes, sir. Cardio at the gym. Little walk here. This area is so scenic. It's beautiful. She's tired. Yeah. You gotta keep pushing. Come on, Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> she starts going again. She's gonna pass another dog. Hazel, stay. <laughs> she doesn't bark or anything, which is good. Little Hazel's getting all the attention. Never seen her pant before. She's been pants out. There you go, you got your tongue sticking out. Hear all the birds? We were here for about a half hour. She's uh, pretty tired out now. She's probably gonna sleep a lot. We should do this every day. Plus I get a tan. No more pale lance. We've been tanning lately. We've been just hitting the tanning beds, but I like that natural vitamin D. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say something. Good girl. Good girl. You need some air conditioning. She went from snow to heat. <laughs> yeah. She's all messed up. Oh, she got little mud print everywhere. It's alright, it'll rub off. Yeah. These seats are pretty easy to clean. <laughs> rub off. That's oh. so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, everything is sexual to Cody. No, you just say sexual things. Go drink water. Yeah, she can drink a lot. So we put on a movie for her. We usually do this, but she's instantly slumped. She's out. You get your toy stuck under you. That's not comfy. And she's out. Tesla boy's back in town. Here's a better look at Cody's car. I know it's a little hard to see earlier in the vlog, but woo, it looks fire. You forgot your water. Oh shit! I always forget my phone. I know. Always. And I, I didn't leave that much this time though. Just a little bit. We're gonna take the cars over to get washed. As you can see, Cody's is very dirty. Psych. Mine's You're dirty. Oh my gosh, there's green you know stuff what you all over got it. To experience yet? What? Wait until love bug season. Yeah, there's gonna be hella bugs all over the car. Love bugs when they start like mating, mm -hmm. bro, millions. Oh god. You're like you'll wash your car in that same day, you'll have like 50 to 100 bugs all over the front of your Great. car. Great. Yeah, it gets really bad. Well, we're gonna head over to the car wash, get this thing cleaned. Let's go. That wrap job looks really nice. They did a good job. And it's popping at the car wash right now. Got a little line going on, waiting. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean up Hazel's paw prints. And there we go. Good as new. We are now in car wash mode. Let's go. Here we go. Cody already got started. I'm pre, I'm pre coming all over the car. Bet. <laughs> Fresh off the bed. Woo, so much better. Cody's wiping is down right now. Unfortunately, I forgot a towel once again. Okay, not the first time. I'm just gonna air dry. Hopefully no water spots. <laughs> Definitely probably water spots. Probably a lot of water spots. So Julia really, really wanted cookies today. So we came over to Crumble, which just opened up. And we got two cookies, two different cookies. We're gonna split them in half. And then we're both gonna eat a half of each cookie. Anytime that we have a little cheat, cookies are like a go-to for us. We love them. And we'll do that exact same setup. Super excited to try these and show you guys them though. So this first one is a cornbread cookie. Wow, it's got honey on it. And there's like a buttercream frosting that looks incredible. Oh my gosh. It is a Chips Ahoy cookie. That looks so good. But Lance, what about your diet? I'm still on my diet. I'm still under my calories for the day. I'm still within my macros. Well, okay, I lied. I went over my my fat by like five grams, which isn't a big deal. I just won't eat as many carbs today. So we're still good there. Oh, it looks like people are lining up for the circus. All right, let's get to your reaction. I already look at them. Why are they really yummy looking? Yum! Oh, I haven't smelled it. Oh, it smells good. Oh, that one looks even better. <laughs> we got the nutrition facts. I get the food scale, get to weigh it out, and then log everything. Cookies are split up now. I have it logged, 609 calories. This is our whole meal for the day. Basically. Basically, basically, this is sad, but this is the risk. We're working out again after this for a second time today. We hit legs this morning, now we're gonna hit, uh, I think I have shoulders next. Anyway, which one do you wanna try? You want that? Okay. Oh, you want to do that one? Doesn't matter, it's your choice. <laughs> Cause this one came back, so it must be fire. Oh yeah, they had this one before? Yes. 
Oh my god, that's so good. This is cornbread. It's the sh most sugary cornbread I've ever had in my life. It's, it's a cornbread cookie. If somebody gave me this and told me it was cornbread, 10 out of 10. The fact that I know it's a sugar cookie. Do you picture it more as a cookie? Well, yeah, there's a lot more sugar than like normal cornbread. Did I just take bigger bites than you? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm depicting it very slowly. I'm trying to enjoy it because we don't get stuff like this often. The honey on it is fire. The frosting's fire. We'll give it a nine. Nine. You're almost done. <laughs> I know, what the heck? I'm jealous now. Oh my god. Fire. It just tastes like a chocolate chip cookie though. Yeah, a really good chocolate chip cookie. I'm a big chocolate fan. I like chocolate more than like a sugar cookie. So this is a, a W in my book. We're opposites. It's really good. What would I rate it? I'd rate this one an eight. I was thinking the same. Yeah, there's our review. We're gonna Are enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Actually pretty filling. Very. Yeah, Julia's like having some issues uh, finishing it right now. I feel like sugar drunk or something. Yeah, well we need to uh, hurry up and get our butts over to the gym so we don't crash. And we can use this energy for a good lift. I'm gonna have an insane pump. My veins are gonna be Probably. popping like a mo Your veins are gonna be popping. <laughs> 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 Julia's veins don't really pop, but they're gonna be popping today. Yes, right, my girl be putting up 40 pounds. Let's go. Lightweight. All right, my girl's graduating to some new weight. These cookies kicking in gear, giving extra strength. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, she's got it. Yo, my pump is killer right now. I feel amazing. I feel strong. How you feeling? Great. Great? Those cookies are healthy. Oh, for sure. We never have stuff like that. So when we do, try and put it towards this as much as possible. Is this your first time doing this? All right, so we got 25 pounds here and 25 pounds over there plus the bar. Julia's first time doing this. She just did two tens on each side, so she added the five. For your first time doing that, amazing. Good job, bro. 10 pounds less, you did it smooth as butter. I know. Of course, trying something new for the first time, maybe you'll get used to it. Yeah. You'll kill it next time, do even better. And I know what some people are probably gonna think like, oh, she can do so much weight on the dumbbell bench press. And usually people think you would do a little bit more in here, but we do those so much. So we're, we're used to that rhythm. Honestly, I do dumbbell so much because I feel like it evens out my chest more. That's Obviously when you do this, you can slack on one side a bit. So when you're pushing equal weight on both sides, I just feel I just feel like it builds more of an even chest. That's literally my favorite exercise. Like, oh, I love same. Chest I love that exercise the best. So I really enjoy watching fitness channels on YouTube. Of course, I incorporate that into my vlog sometimes, right? But I've always like pondered the idea of possibly starting a fitness channel. It would literally just be like vlog content, except all about fitness, all about what I eat. Leave a comment down below if you guys would enjoy that, if I should make one or not. I'm still I'm still hesitant on the idea. I know I slap with the vlogs right now as it is, but I feel like that's just another journey, another adventure that I could do. I think I'd really enjoy it. It would be very motivating, especially like see my progress over a long period of time. Oh yeah, my pump be wild right now. I feel amazing. Same. That's great. I'm really happy we uh, used that energy instead of wasting it and passing out. And we got in cardio with Hazel. Kind of. <laughs> Earlier today, yeah, 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 yeah. We did cardio in the morning, after legs, and then cardio with Hazel. Okay guys, I have a very exciting announcement. Guess who is pregnant? My sister! Yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I just messed with some of y'all heads right there. But yes, my sister is indeed pregnant. I'm super happy for her and Dave. A lot of you have pointed out in the Christmas vlog that you thought Sabrina was pregnant, and yes, indeed she was at that time. We waited a bit to tell everybody. Of course, you don't want to tell people right away. Just God forbid something happens. But she's been getting her ultrasounds. They actually found out the gender, which I'm not gonna reveal to you just yet. You'll find that out in a later video. But yes, I'm about to be an uncle, which is really weird to think about. Definitely excited. But I'm the type of person where things don't really hit me until they happen. So I'm sure the day that they actually have the baby is gonna kind of be like lost for words. It's gonna be super exciting though. And of course, I'm gonna bring you guys along on that journey. And talking about all this, Sabrina and Dave actually sat us down and they gave us these little presents to open. Check it out. Somehow, Julie and I always end up matching. Ew! How does this happen? Ew, that's weird. I was already wearing this, though. I it, it, it always is. ends up being you changing and then wearing something similar to it. I don't do it on purpose, and it's always opposites, too. Yeah, like, like shirt, <laughs> that pants. Must, that must look so funny. That's hilarious. And we're, like, blending in with the couch. Alright, so... You guys proposing? <laughs> Alright, you both have to go at the same time. Will you be my Valentine? Okay. <laughs> a little late for that. Will you be my godfather? Hey! <laughs> Where does it say? Let's go, yes. Wait, so yours is in here. You know? <laughs> and a stroll. <laughs> well, yes. Got an you, you have to look at it first. Yeah, you have to look at it first. Yeah, I'm not going to look at it. 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 Y
first thing you know. Oh, that's so cute. Is that like a ring holder? It is. Oh. And it says J on it. You guys show the will you be mine? Oh yeah. <laughs> and then right here it says will you be mine. Yeah. Look, it says fairy godmother. Oh, that's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> and her says will you be my fairy godmother? That's awesome. <laughs> So Thank you guys. We Thank appreciate you. it. And yes, I accept. Yes, I accept. We still didn't get the answer. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Yo, whoever did this, you had one job. You must have failed playing with shapes as a kid. You guys cuddling? Mm -hmm. I just took the cutest picture of you guys. Look at this. <laughs> it's snowing and she doesn't want to go potty. Go potty. Nope, you ain't getting up the stairs. Nope. You gotta go. She don't want to go. <laughs> We gotta do this all the time. I don't think she's too fond of the snow, especially after just waking up. There you go. Got that big yawn. Good girl. Yay. She peed on her pee pad earlier today and I was surprised. So I put one out over here and uh, <laughs> she just barely missed it. Look at this. I'm telling you, this isn't a planned thing, right? Look at her top. Look at her pants. She's got black on. I got black. Bro, literally black like shoes. the same colors. This is hilarious. It's not intentional, it just happens. So we've officially had Hazel for three weeks now. She's about to go get her very first bath. We're not gonna be bathing her. We have somebody that we know that's gonna be doing it for us. They're a professional. She's also gonna get her nails clipped because they are sharp right now. Yeah, she's been scratching us a bit. Little baby just waking up from a nap, as always. She looks so adorable. You're gonna smell so good. Surprisingly, she doesn't smell bad at all. Yeah, she really doesn't. She goes outside a lot, she does her thing. I like her scent. Yeah, and she's got a lot softer. Obviously, her hair is getting a little bit longer, so it's like not as coarse, but she reminds me of like a deer. Yeah. I keep saying that. I know. She is like deer hair. I don't know. She kind of does. <laughs> she's got these big fluffy ears that she always tries to bite if we play with them. <laughs> right? Yeah. <Aww>. Look. <laughs> and then she just keeps it in her mouth. Oh, oh she looks so face. fluffy. Yes. Hi. She looks so cute. <laughs> she looks so good. Aww. She doesn't even care about she it. She's just care. sniffing. <laughs> Yeah, no, going to the food. Milk. It's so fluffy. Funny. Look what they put on her. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I just came over to BMW about to drop my X6M off right now to get its 1200 mile service. But look at this X3M right here. This looks sick. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Sorry for all the wind. I'm trying to show you this. Really hope you guys enjoyed this long vlog. If you want more, smash that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.